Hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to The Outer Worlds. This is episode six. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series over on YouTube or watching it live over on twitch.tv slash Time. Don't forget, 24-hour charity live stream, November 8th. I hope to see you guys there. In between episodes, we sat down and we did a little bit of tinkering over here at the weapon station. Uh, the tinkering seems very, very strong. It has used up quite a bit of my credits, though. So this is the blade, the blad on stick that we found last time. Uh, we can tinker it, and for the cost of 371 bits, we can increase its damage from 71.4 and add 4.2 damage onto it. And then we can do that again, and it becomes more expensive. This time, 716 bits, but we increase its damage by another 8.4. So it adds quite a lot of DPS to our stuff. I've invested quite a bit into our sniper rifle. We also added a mod onto that. I guess I could put my face cam here. Hello. We also added a mod onto this that increases its fire damage. So to anything that's not armored, right? Or anything that's not a robot, this should hit pretty hard. And we also increase the damage on our magnum that we were using in the last episode as well. Everything has been repaired. Everything is in tip top fighting order. We are running a little low on heavy ammo, but I guess that kind of happens when it's the only ammo that you use. Uh, we're still wearing heavy armor. Parvati is still using the Tremor Cleaver, which we equipped her with last time. But I think we're going to be swapping in the Blad on Stick. Now, uh, apparently because of its little background here, it's a bit more of a rare weapon. It's like an exotic weapon, so I hope she likes it. I hope she uses it well. I was walking around the ship exploring a little bit. Uh, we did fly back over to the moon that I was talking about last episode. You can see when we go outside, it says, warning, dangerous. Pretty much saying that we're not ready for this. But with the new sniper rifle, last time I was here, I was doing like 15 damage a shot with my pistol. It was really, really low damage with my pistol. But now we could come out here and... 230, 230, 256. Like that seriously adds up, boys. That's a lot of damage. Somehow that thing didn't die. So we might be able, just maybe, we might be able to make our way through this area now. It it doesn't seem safe. This does this doesn't seem like the best idea I've ever had. You know what I mean? Oh, God, she just got thrown. Can she smash it? God, there's two of them now. Holy fuck. What can I do here? <laughs> I like how we get little facts about whatever I zoom in on when we slow time. It said it's not in a very good mood. I can see that. You know what? I, do? I, I think I could tell without the game telling me that this guy is not in a very good mood. Hold on. Just get a little reload in there. Everything's fine. All right, everything's fine. So the fact that we even killed these enemies makes me feel pretty good, right? Because we weren't coming anywhere close to this last time. Wow, you've eaten a lot of things. <laughs> wow, someone had a very big appetite. Whoa! Heavy machine gun. 400 DPS. It must be like a minigun. It must be just spitting out those bullets. Anyway, our main quest is leading us here. But as you can probably tell, um, we're, we're not fully ready to encounter this moon just yet. And as I was walking around the ship, I saw something that we could do that might be a little bit easier. That might... Just move us in a direction that we can handle a little bit more. And this is up in, I believe these are my quarters here. This door was closed when I walked in, so I didn't, I didn't really investigate it. But we have this thing on the desk called the Holographic Shroud. And we do have a quest in our journal called Passage to Anywhere that has an optional thing of us using the Holographic Shroud. 
A holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provide you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on site. So we did talk to our dude about this. Um, and now they want us to speak to Gladys on the Groundbreaker, which should just be a short trip away. I believe that's another place that Maybe we can venture I off to. I used to love watching Alex work. Now I like watching you. Uh, where do I, this this way is this way. Ah! Ah! That's fine. It's just a broken leg. It already healed itself. Nothing to worry about. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, you may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw. Taking a flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Wait, what? Arcophobia. After repeatedly falling from great heights, you no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you. Negative one dexterity. Negative one perception. Negative one temperament. But we get a perk point. Um, considering I put points into dexterity and perception, it would be lowering the two fucking stats that I actually decided to spend time on. So I'm just going to say no to that. I don't know if that was the right decision, but it felt like the right decision. And now for the first time, we're traveling to the Groundbreaker Docking Bay. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. All right, I'm just gonna. Can we talk? Oh yes, we could definitely talk. We could talk so oh, much. Excuse me. Do you want to talk? Let's talk. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreakers got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. June Lay Tennyson. Okay. Um. Love you, bro. What? What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her, if you got time to swing us by. I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure, we can head over to her right now. I actually have no problem with that. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Well, what do you, do you want to talk about? I think it's time you move along! All right, so that we'll make that our first thing. We'll make that our first fucking thing. Wait, yeah, this is it. Drinking sapphire wine. Come with me. Let's take you to this engineer. I like this loading screen a lot. Hey, Captain. Hop in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. So that's our ship. That's the unreliable. They have a that's customs place here. That's actually really cool. One of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick. I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. Who's this person right outside my ship? Jane Elsie. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. By the by, no thank you. Eat. I'm, you know, I'm happy to be here, actually. Felix! Going for a stroll around the docking base? I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier, bud. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Uh, I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I didn't really hear their side, to be honest with you, but... Uh, yeah, what happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Oh, boy. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. So you got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Yeah, I'm Captain Hawthorne. That's the unreliable. <laughs> Captain of the unreliable. 
You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. I never caught your name. I'm Billy. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, see you around, Felix. See you around, boss. He seemed pleasant, kind of, at times. Corporate trooper. Seems like a... Hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. All right, doesn't want to talk to me. <clears throat> Weapon parts. Energy salves. Just stock it up, boys. Nothing to worry about. It's not stealing. It's called requisition. Anyone else on the... D this guy looks like a fucking creep. We move cargo 16 hours a day. Do you just move cargo? Mechanicals all over, but they still got us. Wet. Yeah, they just work here. Okay. Restricted access. Hello. If you got a maintenance issue, take it to Chief June Lake. She's in engineering. Thanks for the hot tip. I think the only place I can go is customs. That seems to be where everyone's directing me anyway. Do you think? Do you? Th I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try. Oh yeah. Yeah, no one saw that. No one saw that. Fuck, is Customs gonna be like, yo, where'd you get all this shit? Oh, no. Hey, bud, how you? Hello? My name is Billy Hawthorne, I think. Identification, please. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> um. Uh, let's just say I hypothetically don't have an ID. Everybody's got an ID. Oh, let me guess. You, uh, left it in your other pants? <laughs> I hear that one a lot. Um. What if I told you that I was just thought out, um, and I was supposed to be a colonist from The Hope? I'd tell you no one's fallen for that line in about 30 years. Then I'd take the safety off my gun and kindly ask you to move along. It's a good thing he didn't say that then, right? Right, sir? Sure, kid. Right. All right, here's Hawthorne's ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Billy Hawthorne, well, that's right. Let me right. apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Fuck me, dude. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, fuck. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Uh, how do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. So, can, can you give me any, any information about why it was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Uh, of course. Great, I'll talk to them and get it straightened up. Really appreciate it, Captain Leonard Wheeler. Appreciate your time, man. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? What? Uh, <laughs> All right, just impounded your ship here. Uh, I don't give a fuck what you did, and I'm not going to tell you anything about it because it's above my pay grade, and I've literally turned down promotions, so I don't have to help you. By the way, could you do me a favor? What? Yeah, sure. Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. This doesn't seem appropriate at all. Uh, got it. Okay. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um. Actually, I'm looking for Gladys. The fence. Gladys. You'll find her in the rest and go on your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. I like that. Um, can I find a job around here? What can you tell me about Udon Bedford? Let's try that one. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. 
Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Uh, the board runs most of the systems, don't they? Um, so there's tension between the Groundbreaker and the board, you'd say. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. Okay. Uh, sounds complicated. Sounds like, yeah. But from where I sit, it's all coming through loud and clear. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right, so far anyway. Thanks for the info, bud. Sure thing. I'm going to get out of your hair. Be seeing you. Maybe I should have asked if I could find a job around here. I don't know, dude. All right, well, we got through customs pretty easily. I'm going to keep my promise to... I picked up this to... weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. I'm going to keep my promise to Pavati. Hearing things. And uh, try to find oh, this person there was a lot of that she wanted to talk to, that she wanted to be introduced to. And, you know, along the way, if we happen to see any items this just sitting out. Oh, God. You interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Your regularly scheduled advertisement. <laughs> so it doesn't steal rest and go key card. Is anyone paying attention to me? You never know when you need a key card, dude. The only thing I know about key cards is you never know when you need key cards. All right, I'll be out of your guys' hair. Excuse me. Does this open up? Oh, wow! Slap your whole family tonight. Whoa! Well, there's Spacer's Choice. They're the corporation that ran Edgewater, right? Waste disposal, what was this? Bells, shells? Hey, how's it going? You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? <sighs> no. That's how you know your weapon loves you back. Okay. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Um. I'll take a look, sure. Well, so what could she do? Fun times barrel. Increases critical damage dealt. Oh. Adding that onto my sniper rifle might be really good. I don't know if you could double up mods or not. She's selling that for 905 credits, boys. It has a resale value of 63. That is actually fucked. <laughs> wow, that is, that is so expensive. How much is her heavy ammo? Uh, bye. All of it. Can I just keep doing that? I don't know. I don't know if that transaction even went through, to be honest with you. Groundbreaker. Dude, look at that. Man, that is so cool. Go back to Byzantium, Trainer crew. gold-plated bastards. Halcyon. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, God. That doesn't seem like it's going well. Gentlemen. Uh, I think I need to get in here. Auntie Cleo's. Her kitchen requires a key card. What if I just hop the... What if I hop the bar? Can I hop the bar? Invisible walls. Oh, I hate invisible walls so much. It doesn't look like there's multiple levels to this. 
Oh, maybe it's this door right he fucking here in the middle. Are those XF411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? I don't know what any of that you just said was, but it sounds cool. We interrupt your regularly scheduled Is it really hot in here? It's like wavy. Hey! Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Really? Uh, Billy, nice to meet you. Uh, nice place you got here, excuse me. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. She's asserting dominance over us right now. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, um... Once I get out of Impound, I'm actually bound for Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Oh yeah, it's terrifying, Maybe someone dude. in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Happy to be here. So my friend here, Pravati, wanted to talk to you. Uh, she's she's really excited that you're really good with your hands. And that's uh, also a thing that she's into. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. We keep doing that to her. Where we like just throw she was she's very shy, and we keep just like completely throwing her into conversations. We're like, here you go, you you fucking talk to her, it'll be fine. I wonder if we could set her up a little bit easier. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna give her a little nudge and ask her to continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe. I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Um. Silently encourage her. <laughs> You're doing great. You know, I like this one. I like it. Makes us look like a good captain. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. That's totally fine. Right. In person. Sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Um, I got some other quit. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Nice job, Pravati. You did great. I'm so proud of you. It's actually like endearing too because we're so the only thing our character's good at is talking to people. And we we just happen to be paired up with this person that's so nervous about talking to anyone. <laughs> so this is actually I feel like it's really endearing, honestly. Uh nice job, Provider. You did so good. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Uh, it seems like it's warm in here. I noticed heat waves in literally every direction. What's going on with that? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Um. <laughs> Both of these don't seem super polite. Why haven't you fixed it yet? Only the board has access to new parts. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Uh, is there no room for compromise? Or surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. They want excuse us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. I like that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Uh, we have 15 science. 
You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate, you know. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Uh, the back bays. Am I supposed to know where that is, or um, uh, how do I get there? Sorry, I forgot. Not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Mm, I'll get the parts you need from the back bays. Couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever is down there? Um, this is a good question. Have you tried sitting anyone else down there? Is this a suicide mission is basically what I'm asking. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. Fuck. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. All right, we'll give it a try then. Uh, she said no offense. None taken. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll get these parts you need. Um, I'll talk it over with my crew and get back to you. No, I'll just say I'll get these parts you need. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. <laughs> Oh, this is a big level up. We get some perks to spend here. After we spend this final perk, it'll open up tier two perks. So once we're level 10, we can start moving into these a little bit more. I already know which one I want to get because we're so um, focused on our companion. Increasing our companion's crit chance seems like the natural thing to do. I don't think anything else really improves our disposition in that regard. Yeah, so that seems good to me. We'll go ahead and apply that. Now, as far as our character development goes, uh, I still want to put points into determination until it's at 50. And now, honestly, my main plan is like, actually, we need tech. I want to get tech up too. The more science and medical and engineering I have, the happier I'm going to be. Uh, so science actually just got its first bonus. Tinker, improve your weapons and armor at a workbench. I guess I could already do that. So I guess science didn't just get its first bonus. Uh, we'll go ahead and apply those two. So we're down in the back base. All we had to do is take a little hey, elevator Brad, down here. You expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Uh oh, they know I'm back here. Away now, or you'll parley with the king. Can I give him a little a little talk? They don't seem too eager to talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop a little quick save here. Excuse me. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> Time to feed the flames. You know who this Nothing guy? Personal. Promise. Oh, are they just gonna shoot? Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Uh, you know who this guy reminds me of? The receptionist lady in Monster Hunter. Or not, <laughs> no, Monsters, Inc., not Monster Hunter. Mike Wazowski. I'm watching you, Mike Wazowski. Um, well, we can probably talk our way out of this one. Uh, persuade sounds a lot like intimidate. Put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. I guess the you there puts him in response, like it makes it his problem. Um, let's go with intimidate. I actually, li I actually like this one. You're only getting out of here of this alive if you play nice, bud. Ooh, look at the courage on this one. Lay it on me, boss. Give me a taste of that fiery primal spirit. Uh oh, I don't think this is going well. I'm just here for some parts. They sent me to get them. That's all I want. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. So, um, what do you actually? 
What do you mean you're playing with them? What are you doing? We were just sitting in a circle, sucking down exhaust fumes and toasting to the memory of our brain cells. Making this broken angel fly again. Um, so about those parts. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. Well, we can't we can't bribe him. Um, we could try to lie. You know, those parts are actually leaking deadly toxins. I'll just come back after you're dead. It'll be nice and easy. Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Okay, thanks, man. Totally gonna kill this guy. Oh, a thousand percent gonna kill this guy. But we'll wait until we have to... Oh, he looks so nice. Oh my God. I know it's just a gas mask. I've never, I've never, uh, maybe it's not a gas mask. It's like a space mask. I don't know. Why does he... Wait a minute. How does that work? <laughs> Smells kind of like out for Oh, there's a lot of people here. I'm trying to think of a good name What the fuck is this? They're not going to jump in this, are they? Is that like a power suit? I didn't know that was in this game. Uh, says uh, he said it was up. Is, this, is there a ladder? It's so cozy. Yeah, it's something, isn't it? It's a plasma rifle. Hello? Maybe I have to go this way? Gentlemen, hello. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. That may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. So, um, what, what are you doing back here? Dune Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Ye You'd probably be better off up in engineering, you know? I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Because I'm about to shoot the fuck up out of this place, and, you know, if we can evacuate... I mean, they're literally all outlaws. They're... Mm. Look, Red gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been for days. Oh, I found a ladder, found a ladder. And stairs. Wake up. There's no such thing as pizza. It's all open-faced pasta. <laughs> There's no such thing as pizza. Well, this looks it. Lay's gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. All right. Well, um, what do we think <laughs> the best way of getting rid of these outlaws is gonna be? I'm thinking we close this door and. Uh, and we start here. I'll fix you right up. Yep, that's pretty good. Hey, bud. I don't think you're getting out of here. I can only fire two shots in this mode. It takes about 18 years to reload, bud. We did it. Oh, they fucking melt because it's plasma. We definitely got to get that plasma gun in the back. We have to. I don't know what that is, but it's mine now. You can't steal from dead people. It's not possible. Good work. A ring. An officer's spine. Oh, look at that. 68 damage. It has bleed damage and some kind of green thing. Does it poison? I mean, I only have... I only give melee weapons to Brevardi, but... 
It might be dubbed, dude. I'm just gonna grab everything I can. There's vendors on the space station we can sell this to, so I'm, I'm not super worried about having a place to go. That was a bit cartridge. We got some hacking materials in here. All right. So next, uh, was there any other place I could kind of quarantine off and take down some dudes? I don't know if we even went this way. Yeah, there's some armor parts in there too. I'll grab that. I don't know what the fuck I need a pneumatic piston for. Probably nothing. People don't like my backside. Feels so nice. The squad leader. Does everyone get branded when they join Madrid? Well, he's by himself. There are windows in this, so I'm assuming he's going to be able to see it. Junior mycologist lock. When I settled on Groundbreaker, I thought this would be my gateway to the stars, the beginning of an epic tale as a spacer. Now I grow shrooms for a bunch of outlaws. Not even for selling, they just eat the damn things by the handful. Some of the crew have been tripping for fucking weeks. Suppose it could be worse. Uh, heard of a sublight contractor who got dissolved in chemicals and flushed down waste treatment for stealing some Lilia. Now, McReed's He's always happy to seize me. Calls, his, calls me his fungus lad. Update. McCreed just set a man on fire for having his laces undone. Wow, we really did accomplish something by talking by this guy. He seems like a fucking monster. There's no way we could just leave these guys down here. But then again, it kind of seems like this dude just kind of wants to leave. Like, I don't know. Fucking gray area, dude. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Maybe I need to be more careful about what I'm growing. Ought to find something that calms him down. Time to experiment. So he's scared. I guess I'm honored. But that's the whoever did this isn't in here. This is a squad leader, and this is an outlaw sniper. All right. You ready, Pravati? You're on the squad leader. I'll take out the sniper. Here we go. I see you now. Beautiful. Oh, right to the face! Come on, get the next shot ready. Let's give him a little cripple. There's a drone, there's a drone, there's a drone. Drone's down. Everything's fine. We dealt with it, we dealt with it. He has a hunting rifle. Big cartridges. Can I take this stuff with me? Energy cells. Bit cartridges. All right. So I think we might have to fight the rest of these guys all at once. Which, I mean, I'm not super excited about. <laughs> but I, I think we can make it happen. I think. Um, How many of them are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. Oof. Um, can I close this door? No. There is a plasma rifle here. Does this do more damage than my current rifle? 71 DPS. Oh my god, that's terrible. What the fuck? Special effect burn? Magazine size 40 energy. Oh, it's an energy weapon. I've never actually used an energy weapon. Let's fire it. Oh. You can charge it up, dude. Okay. Well, uh... Okay, here we go. That was a one-shot. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Take it down! The fucking thing came to life out of nowhere! Charge it up. Take him down. This does so much damage. Oh, shit. The other half of these dudes didn't even fucking see us. That makes this easier. All right, we'll loot these guys. Moving to the back was a good fucking idea. Seriously, though, that thing was scary. 
It just kind of fucking came to life. I didn't like that at all. All right, where's the rest of them? It's just three. Four. It's four. Uh, so you get on the captain. Fuck, it's five. Shit, I didn't see this guy. All right, fuck it, let's go. So I'm gonna slow it down. <laughs> that looks so dope! Okay, take out the robot. Yeah, it, it fires so slow. How you doing, you okay? Here's some kind of Tesla cannon, dude! Looks like he might be crippled. Pavati is down right now. I don't know how to get her back up. She's not dead, right? She'll she'll come back, right? I'm about to be so upset. Pavati? <gasps> okay. 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 Oh man, I can't have you doing that. Remember, you're everything. You're everything in this group. I, you're the muscle. This guy's missing a head. <laughs> okay, we took out some outlaws. We got some parts to make this ship a little bit more hospitable. I'm sure we're making some friends by doing all of this. The Montang. It's a heavy weapon. It's an energy weapon. This was the Tesla thing he was using. Let's fire this. Oh my God. Okay, so there's no enemies for me to hit with it. So it was just draining ammo. That looks dope as fuck, dude. All right, let's go have a little talk with the person who sent us on this mission. You know, maybe I'll put my gun down. This is how hey, I got those parts for you. You've returned and in one piece. Color me impressed. I'll color you all kinds of things. Um, I got the part for the radiators. What do you need now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. A mantipillar infestation? Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. It seems like we a perfect opportunity to ship. use our new gun. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. All right. Um. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Oh, Pavardi. Look at you go, making friends. All right, so they want us to head down this. Yep, down this, okay. Someone in the chat said this looks like Winston's gun. It really does. Let's uh, let's see how we can use it. I mean, it's just animals. What do we have to be worried about? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think it's blowing up barrels or something. Or maybe these things pop when they die. I don't know. Oh, you're just running in, huh? All right. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I gave her a shotgun. The shotgun just seems really bad. <gasps> I could give you this gun! Oh, I bet you'd be amazing with this! Unequip it. Get it out of there. I don't know how to unequip things. Fucking take this, dude. Hell yes. Oh, God. Go get him. Go get him, dude. Go get him. Where are they? I can't see up that far. Wait, that's barred. Dude, I want to see her use this fucking thing. Hold on, I'm, I'm uh, gonna change her settings to be ranged. Just, just give it a little hit. 
Look at that! Why does she fire it straight up in the air? That's kind of weird. You're doing great. Get in there. Get in there, champ. Take him down. Take him down. Wait, this one's already killed. Incoming! Go, go. Get that one. Hey, this one! Uh, I think I have to go. D yeah, we have to go down a level. Excuse me, can you kill that? That should spread, right? It kind of seems like it cleaves out. All right, I think this is the terminal here. Oh, she was talking to us. She just said that's the terminal. All right, cycle droplet pumps. Done, dude. We fixed the radiator. She made that sound a lot harder than it actually was. I guess we're just going to return to her and wrap up this quest. Maybe she won't send us out on any more things. I don't know. That seems naive. Seems like there's a lot of side quests. I feel like such a rogue right now, dude. What's that do? Does that call the elevator if it's down? I got like this poison dagger in my hand, man. <laughs> Look at this. this is we interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following Hey, season. I did that thing! My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. Thank you. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Edna has a comms issue? Uh, what is it like actually being command, like being in command on this giant ship? It seems intimidating. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. So this ship is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. <laughs> I feel like they're going to hook up. Is that just me? Uh, was it a big change, that transition to command? It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Um... Provardi could here could always help you shoulder the burden. That kind of seems like we're trying to pass her off, and I don't want to do that. Um. Wait, there's a self-destruct mechanism? Did I zone out for a second? Where's the self-destruct mechanism? I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. Yeah, it was. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. Dope, dude. Uh, I'm gonna go. You got my attention. But thanks. Maybe I'll go help that lady with her comms. I don't know. Ba -da -da -da. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. We helped We helped the ship become a better place. We cooled down the temperature a little bit. We replaced some parts. We got rid of some of their outlaws that apparently have completely taken over a sector of the ship. And in the process, we saved someone for a change. We fucking saved someone. How dope is that? We did level up, so we have points to spend. I'm pressing tab, but it's not letting me spend my points. I don't know why that is. 
So I guess I'm just going to awkwardly end here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.